Black again. Black again. It's the general family. We in the house. Continuing this great work. Continuing this great work. All my family out there. Sunday, November 10th, 2019. Secrets of the Egyptian Mystery System. Have your ass in the place. Can only be done by the general. These niggas out here ain't got the the the, the years under the master teachers, the years of independent research, field research, studying under the best, and just being a goddamn, you know, a scholar of scholars, amongst scholars, producing works that only can be, be produced by the mind of SETI. Plus, I got the SETI doctrine. I don't just give motherfuckers information. I transform information into, into ammunition. God damn it, is it, it, it my information motivates Africans to action. Can't be the same, nigga. Can't just sit up, read books. So if y'all want to see, and then we dealing not only with the Egyptian men, but the subordinate lodges all over the planet. So we can prove that the Egyptian mystery system founded all religions, was the basis of all religion, philosophy on the planet. Okay? So the link is right there in the video description. Hit that link. Boom. Go on and get that ticket. Have your ass in the plate. To all my family over there, uh, the Bible Decoded series, volume one on Patreon. If you go on my Patreon, you will see that I have integrated Vimeo into my, uh, into my Patreon. So it's exclusive to my family over there at Patreon because I got to give you that fire. YouTube is Jutube. And I can't put none of my fire over here. Because everything I want to say, my mouth, nigga, is violent. My mouth, goddammit, is, is, you know, is, is intellectually violent. So they snatch my shit up off the goddamn internet all the time. So I can't say what I need to say. I just did the goddamn creatures from the car because that bitch was private. And they still took the bitch down. Private. That's, that's fire, nigga. That's fire. I do, I do to the internet, nigga, what, what's happening in California right now, nigga. Just the wind, the wind blow, nigga, and the whole motherfucking internet catch on fire. And so this, this month, and going into the beginning of next month, I'll be finishing up. I got, I got six hard ones up there right now. Hard body. Hard body. I'm going to end, you know, put the, uh, the final, uh, nine up there. And that's just the beginning. That ain't just. You know, that's just critical. I done went down the spine. And I and I didn't crack vertebrae in the body. Cracked it. Motherfucker would never be the same. But it's so many to crack. So 15 is just, but they critical 15. Most motherfuckers in that religion ain't gonna want to hear you say nothing about what I teach you. Nothing. They ain't got no answer. They ain't got no answer. So I don't just teach no bullshit. I teach that critical shit. Put motherfucker on, on the death bay. Okay? And so next month, going into November, I'm going into Islam. And like I said, I'll be touching. All my Patreon is 15-part series. And they intricate. You see what I'm saying? Ain't going to be no freestyle. I, within that one video, I didn't th threw 10, 15 daggers in the motherfucker. So that's a very critical information. So get on over there. Become a patron. General Sarah soon said. KingSetty.com. Online marketplace. Got all the DVD. That old school shit. Got the new school. Nigga. Got that 2019 edition. Sarah soon said. T-shirts, hoodies, jewelry. Got something for the king. Got something for the king. The queen. Excuse me. Got something for the queen. So you get on over there. And we're growing every day. You ain't got to go nowhere Go on over there to King said, and SETI University is on the way. See, I'm moving, family. I'm moving. I'm behind the scenes. I got shit every lot. I got landmines all over this bitch. You see what I'm saying? SETI University is on the way. Got to be independent. Got to be in. And so that'll be something exclusive from everything else. You understand? Particular to that, you know, particular, uh, the brand of SETI University. And so you're going to want to be a part of everything that I'm doing. 
Because I'm live, nigga. Said he live is lit. Bitch, ain't no other way to say it. I don't have to, I don't have to geek myself up. I know my shit lit. I've been doing this shit too long. And I know I'm the best. And I don't need no motherfucker to tell. I ain't got to hear a motherfucker say nothing. I ain't got to hear, if it's a million motherfuckers against me, it's going to be a million losing ass niggas. I tell you that. I'll go up against a million comfortably and put you niggas down. All right. To this video, very critical. Step in my, got to step these lessons up. To just to show you that even the men do nothing. That's why that shit had to go. You understand? We had to destroy and motherfucking rebuild. You understand? Got quiet out there. I hear a couple of niggas using a couple of the, you know, the men. But you niggas quiet because you know better. You know better. Don't have, don't have me get in your chest because I will. Now, today we dealing with the followers of the Egyptian God set. The Egyptian God set. The true founders of ancient Egypt. A lot of people going to say, man, Seti, man, what the fuck is you talking about, man? Because we've been taught that Set was Satan. Listen to that. Set, Set is Satan. He's the devil. You understand what I'm saying? And I, could, I look all over ancient Egypt and see Set. I used to, see, even when I was young, I say, well, damn, if they thought that Set was Satan in the way that Christians look at the devil being the antagonist of God, why do so many images of Set are venerated? You know what I'm saying? In a righteous light. You understand what I'm saying? Nowhere in the Christian world or the Muslim world or, or you know, the Jew, Jewish world where the devil is venerated at all, at all. But you could go all over Egypt and set is venerated and venerated many times right in your face, but you do not see it because you choose not to see it even though you hear it. You see what I'm saying? Even though you hear it. Now, number one, let me go on to throw something. Let me, let me get my shit up here, because I'm about to dig in you niggas' check. I hope all you e Egyptian nigga freaks out there, so I can go on and crack that spine. I'm going to get on them vertebrae. I'm going to start cracking them vertebrae in your spine. Wake up tonight. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here. How we doing out there? Let me make sure everybody out there. Hope I got all my, my Egyptian freaks out there. Hope y'all in the house. Come on in. Go get them. Go get them. All right, I see. We in the house. Just want to see if everybody in the house. Okay, we good. Okay, we good. Let me pull it up because I'm about to, about to touch. I'm going to come in and out, family, because I ain't got my monitor. Now, number one, number one, when we're dealing with the gnomes, what is a gnome? A gnome is a district, just like a state got counties, okay? A gnome is a county, a district of ancient Egypt. Now, you got upper Egypt, you got lower Egypt. And as you can see, if you look right there, in lower Egypt, you see number one is right where the star is, is Memphis. So Memphis is the first district, the first county, county of Lower Egypt. But then you got 22 in Upper Egypt, okay? And when you go into Upper Egypt and you go to the very first nomi, you'll see that it's Tassetti, okay? You can look it up and you'll see the facts for what it is that the first nomi, the first district of Upper Egypt, and as you can see, the numbers are being counted down the river. One is at the top, and you count one, two, three, going down the river. Why? Because the civilization started in the south. And as you can, if you did not know, you you know today 
that the river is flowing from the interior of Africa, flowing from up out of the Great Lakes region, around Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda. You understand what I'm saying? In this area, the Congo. You understand? Ethiopia. You see what I'm saying? This is the area, the Great Lakes region. And it's flowing down. And if you listen right now today, it's a, being a, a dispute between uh, Ethiopia and Egypt, which they hope don't come to a war, because once you understand the flow of the river, see, this is military. See, if you understand that the 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 uh the source of the river is in the south, which means if you got the source of the river, you can dam the river and you can literally cut off the water to the northern nations. So you you talking about Egypt? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Egypt is solely dependent on the Nile. Okay, where Sudan, you got the Blue Nile meeting up in Sudan. You got uh uh you got uh the the white now meeting up in Sudan. So Sudan got more sources of water than Egypt. Okay? You got more sources of uh, but what's what's key is that the majority of the water that's flowing into the Nile River, the majority of it, even the silt, the fertilizer, is coming out of Ethiopia. And so Ethiopia is talking about Building a dam, you know, to, you know, they about to, you know, get their electricity popping it, you know, on a on, on a major level. And so that's gonna cut off the flow of water into Egypt. And so that right there shows you that family that came up out of the south are the true founders, because you you know, you are at the vir virtual whim of the southern nations. You understand from a geographical standpoint, you at the mercy. You understand what I'm saying? Because you, at any given time, you show disrespect or anything, they could cut off that vital life force of the night. Okay? Just to show you that. So when you're looking at the first Nomita district, you see that uh, Aswan, uh, Kamambo, the... The great, you know, the great uh, temple of Kamambo, Aswan. We're going to deal with that Philae temple, uh, 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 Abu Simbel, and even further back. Even though you see the number one, that extends much further south. So when you're looking at Taseti, you're looking at uh, the lower region of Tanahisi, which is Nubia. Okay, you got the... You got the northern region being Taseti, and then you got the southern region of Nubia, Tanahisi, being Kush, okay? Being Kush. So when you look up on the walls, you see clearly. You can look it up. Taseti. Now, now, now this is how we're going to play the word play. See, we're going to hear Sadi, because I know I was given this name by Ashrock Quase, okay? Don Marie, sir. And I know that Seti, King Seti, Mimma Atra, you know, Seti the first, okay, uh, that he venerated Set. He venerated Set. And that he named, and his son was Ramesses. So you see the Ra, you know what I'm saying? You see even in, uh, in Seti's uh, uh, Mimma Atra, he even had men, he had Ra, but he had Set. And so I'm thinking to myself, how is it that all these kings throughout the Nava and queens took on this name Set if they thought the silly shit that niggas think today that Set was the devil? Why would a righteous king and Seti, Memorat Ra, Seti the first, is the one that constructed the temple of of Osiris and Abydos. I that, that don't make no motherfucking sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? That's when y'all niggas don't understand that all that bullshit ass learning, all that medunetta, all that shit, and all of that, and you can't use your logic. So when they say Tarsetti, they say, oh, the land of boat. Land of boat. 
So I guess so. I mean, this one word got, got all these various terminologies. Okay? No, they, don't nobody name they got the I don't know. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers got the bow. Okay? They more they known for more than just the goddamn bow. It's the land of set. The land of the followers of set. And people don't wanna deal with that. That's Nubia. That's Nubia. So pro long before the Ra became the supreme deity, because Ra didn't become the supreme deity until, you know, starting in the middle kingdom. But then eventually in the new kingdom, uh, uh, you understand, he became the supreme deity. But when Egypt started, it was Ptah. It was Ptah and Sekhmet. You understand what I'm saying? Who were the supreme god and goddess of the land. Wasn't no rock. And then when we study the, the origins of Ptah, we see that Ptah was a twa, which they called a pygmy, which we're going to get even deeper into that. It showed that, you know, another term that was used for the twa was the Anu people. That was the little twa. And we're going to see that best in Ptah and Set. A canoe, a, a Anu cat, because that's where you see, you hear Anu cat, which was the wife of canoe, and you hear Anu in that. See, you see, that's them southern gods and goddesses. See, you nigga don't want to deal with that. And so when you look at the top, you see up there, you see Aswan high down. That's right, that's right up under Aswan, right here, the first cat. And so they flooded all of that out. See, to hide the fact of that great worship. And really what I'm doing, and I understand what it is. I'm rescuing Set and Seti and all the terminology. Because when you say Sutek, see, it's not just Set, it's also Sut. Because it can be spelled S-E-T or it can be spelled S-U-T. Because there is no vowels in the middle of that. So when you hear Sut or you hear Set, it's the same thing. So when you hear somebody say Sutek, it means what? Black power. And so not only does Set, you know, symbolizes the, the deity Set, but the Tasetians are known for what? The darkness of their skin, the blackness. So in Set, you also get black, okay? So we want to we wanna break this shit down. And so just like we had to rescue black, the term black, because when you go in the dictionary, you will hear, oh, the devil, Black Monday, Black Tuesday, Black Ball, Black Friday, a uh, uh, black devil food cake is black and all black ball. And this, that, and the third, they demonize black. And when you see in the ancient version of the term black, you see set, they have done the same exact fucking thing. They have demonized something that was sacred to our people they have demonized and all niggas can say is that set means the devil that's totally totally untrue okay and so we're looking at the temple of Kamumbo. now this is it this is deep down in the district you see in the district now the capital of that know me was elephant time island which is in aswan and on that island was temple sacred to Kanun. Kanun was the supreme deity of uh that that particular known me. Okay? He was the of of Elephantine Island. He was the supreme deity, creator deity. Okay? Set was before Kanun. Set was before Kanun. And so you see here at Kamambo, you see here at Kamambo that this temple was a double temple sacred to Sobek and Horus, okay? Now, through my study, Sobek was uh, in, in uh, he was in uh, the league with Set, okay? He's, a, he's, he's of the same league with Set. So that's why you see Sobek and Horus, because this is the balance. This is the duality. So in this instance, uh, Sobek represents Set. 
okay? Represents set. And you see here, the, and you see the veneration of Sobek here as the crocodile deity. Now, this is Aswan. This is Nubia. Anybody been to Egypt know when you get down in the Aswan, you see a lot more of our people. Start to get a lot darker. You start to see a lot of the southern deities that you don't see up north. You also see in Taseti, you see the temple of Philae, which is sacred to the goddess. Listen to this. So you understand that. I set. See? Listen to that. You don't you didn't listen to that. I set. We don't see that set is in I set, the throne. You see what I'm saying? She's the lady of the south. She's the lady of the south. That's what that's saying. And through the south and through the, the blood lineage of the great bloodline from the south is how you become king. How you, you got to go through the black woman. And the south is where they know the, the ancient bloodline came from. Okay? So you hear, that's another, we got to bring up Toxetti and we hear Aset. Throne, okay? Throne, showing, you know, royalty in that. And so we see also Abu Simba, in Taseti. Okay, and when you look at this, it's another temple. I didn't put it in here. I should have put it in there. Sacred to the goddess I set. I was moving fast, but this is her husband, Ramesses II. And these, this great temple is facing Nubia. He built because... uh. Nefertari, Nefertari was from Taseti. Her father was the pharaoh of Taseti, of Nubia. So in honor to Nubia and the great king and his wife being from Nubia, he built this, I think, is the most beautiful temple in all the world. None can compare to Abu Simbel. Visually, Abu Simbel is the most beautiful temple in all the world. Nothing can compare. But it's facing Taseti, it's facing Nubia in honor of that great nation. So when you see right here, I set. I set. See? We're going to hear this term set. And people, all they can say is that it means the devil. And I can show you that it is one of the most sacred terms in all. Now we understand the Meduneta is a fraudulent language. But the symbolisms are attached to symbols. And they know that these symbols that I'm speaking of correlate. That they have a common origin. And that's why when they gave it a, a, a vernacular, and they, they, they used the common term set in all of it. Because they knew that it was coming up out of a particular region a particular people that I said was from the Tassetian people. She was from the South. She was from the South. Okay? Now, look at this. Even today, when we talk about suit, and I and not just that that's also a version of set. Because again, you don't have you add the vowels at your discretion. So it could be S-E-T, it could be S-O-O-T. It could be S-U-T. So as you see, suit is set. It means black. When you say sun set, that means that the sun has went down and we are in darkness. It's black. So you see this brother, this is an African. He put soot on his, that's soot, to show you that it, this is the black, this is black as you can, triple midnight. A million midnights. So that's what it means. So when you talk about the Tarsetians, in that instance, it means followers of set, but it also means deep, rich blackness, okay? Want to back it up? Now, we talk about the Ainu, the worshipers of set. Let's back this shit up. Lord Terranetta of the Ainu or the Twa. Now, we see here that Bess, Bess, you can see him right there uh, with the uh, leopard skin on. Showing that these, and I'm dealing with this in the secrets of the mystery system, that the Twa brought the mystery system from up out of the interior of Africa, down into Egypt, down into Egypt. Even 
uh, uh, the, the leopard skin, which you can see almost all over Africa as a common uh, uh, symbol of chiefdom, kingship, divinity, priesthood, okay, masculine and feminine, because you will see that the sisters also wore the leopard skin in the same, in, with the same intention of divinity, righteousness, and so on, okay? So now, this is a, 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 a plaque that was found by the British Egyptologist with his still in ass, Flinders Petrie from England. He found this up under the Temple of Abydos, okay? Photo of Terra Neta Tile from the University of Chicago's Oriental Institute. The Terra Neta Tile is pre pre-dynastic, being found by the British Egyptologist Flinders Petrie, 1853-1942, in the early temple at Abydos, underneath the dynastic temple. The figure is on green glazed fiance. Okay? Now, so this was before, now, when you go to Abydos today, you see Seti the first has built the temple of Abydos there. But up under that, they was he did the, the crack over there digging and shit. This is what he found, and so you see that these are the pre-dynastic Africans, and you can see that they the little short twa. They the little short twa. You see them with the sekim, which is the uh, the staff, showing that that when you got the staff, even today, you, you when you got a staff, that means you didn't reach a certain level uh, of eldership, of rank. You understand what I'm saying? So you're not supposed to even have a staff unless, you know, you're crippled. You understand? If you ain't crippled, you ain't supposed to have a staff until you get at least 50 or something like that to show you didn't reach a certain level of rank. So now when you look to the to the right, you see that's Pata. See, that's Pata. But see, there, something happened within Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? Where the early uh, inhabitants, the Twa. And so on, you know, the 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 uh input, the the you know, the the aspect of the originators was washed away to the point where people don't see their input in the foundation of ancient Egypt. So you see, this is Pata. Most people will see the more tall Pata, but this is Pata and Best, the two earliest deities. Of Egypt. These are the A new people. Okay, and the A new people are up from up out of Tasekti. Okay, we're gonna back that up. And you see that uh, not only you, you get the A new people, you see in A new, A new cat, which is the wife of Kanun, who is the head deity of the first of Tasekti. He's the head deity of that district. Okay, and you see him there. You see Ramesses the second. You see Kanun, and you see Anuket. These are the southern gods and goddesses. Okay, and you see right there uh, Anuket with Ramesses as a, in, 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 as all the great goddesses of Nu, Hederu. You understand? Feeding the king, nourishing the king, protecting the king. You see her here. You can tell by her headdress. You understand what I'm saying? Well, she got, you know, these feathers, and I, I got to get the type of feather it is. I don't know if it's an ostrich feather or not, but she got this plume crown on her head. She's very distinctive. Now, let's deal with M. Seti. Let me come out for a second. Let me come out for a second so I can make sure everything is going fine. Let me make sure everything is going fine out there. Everybody, you in the house out there? We in the house out there. How we doing out there? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure everything is Gucci. How we looking? Okay. Just want to make sure everything Gucci. Had to come out. I'm about to go back in. 
About to go back in. Okay, we talking now, we talking about what? The four sons of Horus. Okay, we talking about the four sons of Horus. You understand which, which represent the cardinal points? North, south, east, and west. Okay? And they were uh, responsible for the organs of the deceased. Okay? When the deceased died, you know, you see the canoptic jars. Okay? You got Damu Tef, the jackal-headed guy representing the east, whose jar contained the stomach, was protected by the goddess Neith. You got Hot Happy, the baboon, headed God representing the north, whose jar contained the lungs and was protected by goddess Nep Nephthys. Then you got Emseti, I'm set, the human headed God, listen, representing the south. So not only do set represent the God set, not only do it represent black, but it also represents south. South. South, okay? Now, this is, okay? And so, M. Seti, the God, human-headed God, representing the j j uh, the South, whose jar contained the liver, and was protected by who? The goddess Aset. That's very, see, we putting it together today. So, how is it that Horus got a son named Aset? Let's just be real. I'm M. Seti. I'm set. Okay? I'm Seti, the human headed God, brother, whose jar contained and was protected by Goddess Aset. See? So we listening it. And so we hear all this divinity with God set. But the majority of you goddamn Medunetta flunkies can't say nothing about set other than that he represents Satan. You niggas has been brainwashed. You niggas only parrot, whatever you hear the peck of wood say, that's what you parrot. You don't got no research outside of the peck of wood. And that's why a majority of you niggas give up on Egypt because you don't have Egypt. Nigga, you got some cracker-based information that totally then took you away from the true origins of the, the, the Nile Valley civilization. Okay? And so these are facts. I don't want to hear no motherfucker say, nah, I don't need you to say nothing, nigga, at all. And then you got Quelson now, the Falcon, who, you know, I don't, I think he held the, uh, you got the liver, the lungs, uh, he had the something. And so I don't know what was in that job, but I'll do it. I'll do the research. And it says, uh, this is the Book of the Dead, spell 148 in the Book of the Dead, Directly associates all four of Horace's sons to the four cardinal points. M. Seti was associated with the South. With the South. Let me move on. Set South. And so when you look at Osiris, you see lower rule, lower Egypt. And then you look over and you see a set at the end on, on the far right rule upper Egypt, which is the South. Okay? Now, it's very coincidental that the crown Osiris got on is the crown of the South. Huh? That's the southern crown he got on. When you look at the red crown, that's the crown of Lower Egypt. So, it's, it's some research to be, be done because it seems like there's been some usurpation going on. Uh, even in Egypt. We can't act as if, no, you know, even in Egypt, there's something happening here. Where, you know, one people is surplanning, whether they African or not, one people is surplanning another African people. And the deity that belong to the, 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 the people that's being usurped is being demoted. He's being demoted, even though at one time he was the supreme deity. Set Lord, uh, uh, Lord of Nubia, land of gold. Now, this is from uh, Sucestris, the third. Palm branches presented to the king, lentinal of Sucestris, the third. Now, this is from Nak el Mahmud. This is the 12th dynasty. And so you see again, you see that Sucestris, the third, is venerating Horus and Set. Okay? And so ain't no Christian or no Muslim going to venerate 
the devil in no way, shape, or form like that. The, he's being venerated in righteousness. Now look at this. Listen to what it says. Set standard on lentinel of Sesestris the third, 12th dynasty, note to the gold town, nuked. Where you get the word Nubia, new hieroglyphics, since he is associated with nuked, okay, a.k.a. Nequada. So now we understand that Set is also associated with Noob, Nubia, gold. We breaking this shit down today. We breaking it down. He's associated with the, t the gold town, Nuked, which is also known as Nequada. Okay, and there was a lot of pre-dynastic artifacts that were found in that. Now, we're going to talk even deeper, family. We all know who study ancient Egypt. Is we in the house today? What, what do we know of the town of Luxor? When you get to Luxor, you got the temple of Karnak. You got the temple of, uh, which we call the temple of Luxor, which was built by Amenhotep III. What do we call that? Even though we read this shit and we don't understand that, we call it Waset. Talk to me, family. I got. I, I need. Uh, I'm breaking this shit down. That's Thebes. That's why set. And then we also going to get to the Y scepter, which represents the, which was the most powerful scepter in ancient Egypt, representing dominion and power. So we understand that the most sacred city in all of Egypt, Y set, where you go and get the temple of Karnak, the temple of Luxor, the valley of the kings, valley of the queen, uh, uh, Hatshepsut's funerary temple, all in that area. It's called Waset. Waset. Okay? And what and, and let me let me oh, let me move. Let me go down, son. And we even look here and we see set here with the crown of Upper Egypt on his head. Okay? Shown as the superior supreme deity at that time. And you can see here, I didn't get the whole uh, you can see one of the kings putting the ump which is eternal life. Okay, goddamn, you can see he's being venerated. So how is it that when we think of set, we think of some demonic, when so many, damn, they're all kings, venerated, set in some form or fashion. So when we see Nequada, I should have put something up there. It's right, it's right really above Karnak. You see Valley of the Kings to the left, you see Karnak right up under that. And right above uh, the Valley of the Kings, you see Nequada. Okay, that was nuked. Okay, that was the city sacred to Set. And so you see here, Memma'atra. Seti Meripata. Seti first Meripata. This is the spiritual ancestor whom I was named after. Okay, and you see he got men, uh, which is a form of Amen. Fertility, you got Ma'at, the, the goddess of wisdom, knowledge, uh, uh, truth, balance, mathematics, the, uh, sacred math. And then you get Ra, the sun. You see the sun down at the bottom. You with you know the circle with the dot. Then you see uh, the goose with the sun. That's Sabra. That's Sabra. He was the son of the sun. Okay, but yet he. His name, his throne name was Seti One Mary Pata. So I cannot conceive that these kings and queens would venerate the goddamn devil and all of the righteous, and they associated with all the other gods just the same. Y'all niggas got to come up out of that blind goddamn follow whatever the pecker would tell you, and that's what you, and that's what's wrong. Y'all niggas got to. I got to erase the whole chalkboard and start the fuck over. And you see right here again, Ursa Ma'at Ra. This is uh, uh, Mary Amen, Seti II, Mernapata. Okay? And this is uh, this is his grandson, Mernapata. This is his grandson, Mernapata. Ursa Ma Keperu Ra, Mary Amen, Seti II, Mernapata. The second. 
Okay, so you see, he's also venerate, and he took the name Set. Okay, he took this is the uh, this is Seti the second. This is Seti the second, whom they call Seti the second, late dynast uh nineteenth dynasty. Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna bring up is the term Sultan, which means king. So that's you know when you are the south. You, that, that's why when you look at the crown of Osiris, that's the crown of Upper Egypt. That was the supreme crown. Literally, you didn't even need the crown of Upper Egypt. If you had on the crown of the South, nigga, you was king. Because, goddamn, Lower Egypt started at Memphis. Shit, if you was the king of the South, nigga, you ruled from that from Memphis back. All the way up the damn river into the Sudan. So you was the king supreme. So when you say Sultan, that means king. You the Sultan. Sultan. Black power. Sunset. The white scepter. We're going to get into that. And you look right there. You see uh, down. Uh, if you look at the picture, it says symbol. The white scepter. Okay. The white scepter. We're going to get into that. White scepter. And you see Ptah holding the white scepter, and it got the head of Set on it. Look at it. Look at it. We got to talk today, family. I don't. I, I come with all my daggers. I don't need no nigga to tell. I'm looking dead at it. That's the most powerful scepter in all of ancient Egypt. And you see the uh, the electric uh, uh, magnetic base of the scepter too. Because it also symbolized, uh, uh, what's the, uh, the generator. You understand what I'm saying? When you look at, you look at the, uh, uh, the electrical, uh, generators that be out there. If you riding up the, uh, the highway, you understand what I'm saying? You see them level just like the Y scepter. You understand what I'm saying? And you see them here with the, um, eternal life. With the Y scepter, and you see the all oh, eternal life. See, once you understand the symbols, you're not gonna see no goddamn devil walking around with no cross. You're not gonna see Dracula walking around with the cross. So where I, I'm showing you the Vin, this is uh Tutmosis the third, and this is these are other uh Y scepters that you see with the hair to set on it. Now, this comes from uh a palette, a pre-dynastic palette that come up out of Nequada. See, that was an ancient time. Now, let me bring you over to it. You can look at this is the battlefield palette, a pre-dynastic Nequada. Now, this is before the, the dynastic period. And you can see that there's a war that has happened. And you can see that the woolly head, Twa, the Anu, are being captured. This is facts. So this, this, these, these wars was going on amongst African people. Okay, there were wars going on. I mean, you can see the woolly head, and these are the little Twa whom they call the Anu people. They was usurped, and they were the followers of Set and the and the Africans that's usurping. The Anu, the Twa, are the followers of Horus. So there was a war between the followers of Horus and the followers of Set. Okay, and obviously, the followers of Horus won the battle, but they could not usurp the ancient spirituality of the Tarsetians. They could not do it. And so they still venerated Set in everything that they did. Okay, so when you see them, Disre that was only, I mean, that's what a, a, a victor do. You understand what I'm saying? But you got to go before that time period and see when Set was the righteous king, the supreme deity, and the most ancient of the deity. And I even read it in Church Word and Gerald Massey. They acknowledge that fact, that Set is older than Horus, Amon, and Ra. They acknowledge that fact. Now this is in the tell this is in the tomb of if I'm not mistaken this is either 
This is either Ramesses the sixth or it's Ramesses the third. And you in that tomb, he had all the particular races. Obviously, he didn't conquer them because they has been binded. But even when you look there and what they interpreted, now the names don't mean that the African, but they knew that the symbolism also identified these people with Set. Men to knew Set Set Et. Set Et. S E T E T. So there it shows you that these people, what we call the Nubians, the people of gold, were also the worshippers of Set. You see right there, Upper Nubia, that's Kush. That's Kush. Okay? And so you see another uh, uh, district of Nubia in Tiu Set. Seti. In Tiu Seti. In Tiu Seti. Then you got men too new set at. So you can see that the Nubians identified with set. So set means south, southern, it means black, and it means followers of set. Okay? Now, this is, uh, let me come back out for a second. Make sure everybody doing okay. How we doing out there? Okay, let's let's deal with. Okay, let's deal with. I'm back in the house. I just had to look. I had to look for a minute. Now, nah, this is Casa Kimwe. Okay, this is Casa Kimwe. He's the last king of the second dynasty, 2690 BCE. Could be even older. And you see here that even at that time, you they had shiraks. They didn't have cartouches. Okay, now when we talking about you know the understanding, the verbalization, the verbalization, the set, and so on and so forth, has to do with the connection to a particular people. Does not mean that this is how the ancestors spoke it. When they codify all that they codify, they knew based on certain symbolisms, it connected them to set. It connected them to the South. It connected them to the people who we call the Tarsetians. And they're the Tarsetians, not because they are the people of the bow, because they was building more than fucking bows. Okay? These people were building more. They were more than just fucking foot soldiers. Okay? These was the architectural, spiritual minds of ain't the Nile Valley. So you see, Casa Kimwe was also a venerator of Set and the king before him, okay, was also a venerator of Set, okay. So even in the early dynasty, the king before him, uh, Perins, Peripsin, okay, Peripsin, Set, Peripsin, and you can see he also had Set venerated. You see him right there with Ra, okay, with Ra. Now let me wait a minute. Let me move forward. Again, showing you the Y scepter with the head of set on it. Let me come out of this so I can get my uh get my way. I might then hit y'all niggas with all I need to hit you with. God damn it, just to get you started on your way. Hold on, family. Hold on. It's some other things. It's some other thing. I didn't put in. It's in the other. It's in the other. Uh, it's in my other uh, lecture. You understand what I'm saying? But I can't always. I can't always give you everything. No goddamn way. I can't always give you everything. If it a suck. You understand what I'm saying? If it a suck. Okay. They know damn well that. That the Setians, the Nubians, were in control of all of that. Long before the coming of the latter kings. Okay, now that ain't to take nothing away. But 
you're talking about 3,000 years. You understand what I'm saying? King, uh, gods come and go. You understand what I'm saying? There'll be a supreme, uh, divine, um, uh, male and female deity for 500, and then it changed. Then it changed. But it's very clear that Set is one of the earliest deities of all the Nile Valley. And that he was venerated amongst the Nubians, whom he was identified with. So that's just a little touch. You understand? That's just a little touch. Don't get caught up too much because the terminology is, even though we know that ain't what the ancestors spoke, when they codified it, they knew the symbols were, you know, linked to a particular people. To a particular district, this is why you hear set. Just like when you go up under Abydos, you see that the Anu was there before the, the, the latter dynasties. Okay, even before, you know, the first king, the, the dynastic period had already started in Nubia. Had already a thousand years before Egypt even started. Okay, got the documentation. They know that. That's why they put that goddamn dam over there and flooded it out. Because you would have saw the earlier gods that were there. And when anybody that go to Egypt, when you go up into Nubia, you start seeing them other deities disappear. You don't always see, you get, you get to see them more Kanun. You get to see more of our new cat. Even when you go to Kalabashia, you don't see Osiris. You see uh, Mendu Luis. Okay, you see the god Mendu Luis is married to Aset. Okay, so you start to see a lot of other Nubian type deities that you don't see down in Egypt. And so you got to see that what they call Nubia is the foundation of Egypt. Okay, family, this was just a quick lesson, very powerful lesson. I'm, I'm very convinced I made the point. Now, motherfucker, see, the only motherfucker that gonna be hurt is a motherfucker been teaching a different way and didn't break it down. You understand what I'm saying? And like I say, this, I had already read many other scholars that had already known that fact. Okay? And I can easily bring it up. And these weren't no lightweights either. You understand? People have been over there that do field research and ain't just no motherfucking armchair scholar because if you're an armchair scholar and you ain't got no field research, all you can do, nigga, is hope that the books you reading is telling you the truth. But if you don't have no outside research of your own, you do not know. I'm sorry to tell you that, nigga. So you can keep reading all the books you need. You can keep reading all the books you need. The fact is that what we think of is of ancient Egypt it's almost like today, like I said, we are racing the motherfucking chalkboard, racing all that shit up off of there, and we're starting over. And so, family, secrets of the Egyptian mystery system, Sunday, November 10th, sun, next Sunday coming up, y'all had y'all gonna shock and amaze. That's all I got to say. Shock and amaze if you. Yeah, I guarantee you, when you come up out of there, you'll be studying on a whole nother level. You'll be going in a whole nother direction. And let's see if the SETI doctrine don't lead you to some fulfillment within your research. You understand? Let's, let's see. Uh, Bible Decoded Series Patreon. Get your ass on over to my Patreon. General Cyrus Soon SETI. Starting up Islam Decoded Series next month. On top of that. KingSetty.com, online marketplace, DVDs, T-shirts, hoodies, jewelry for the kings and the queens, much, much more. Get your ass over there. Enjoy yourself. How we do out there, family? How we do out there? What up, Pata? What up, Pata? What up, King? Glad to see you, dog.
That's what's up, family. I'm back on. I'm back on. So y'all stay posted. I'm back on my SETI shit. That's right. All right, family. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I'm ready to get on up out of here. I'll be black tomorrow. Stay tuned. The general is black, y'all. Love you. Black pop.